first base I can pack on FIFA 23. Let's open them up and let's see what we can get. Have you guys got a terrible team, no coins, and you want to buy some of the brand new players from the Rule Breaker promo? Oh, go on, man. Well, look no further than MuleFactory.com. Go over there to get the cheapest, most safe, reliable coins and use the code NERDFIRE at the checkout for 5% off your order. Link is in the description down below. All right, the very first icon pack on FIFA 23 is here. We've got max 86 icon upgrade. So this is any icon, any base icon, sorry, that has the max overall of an 86. And the requirements are an 84 rated squad and an 86 rated squad with a team of the week. So we're going to go send the squads. We're going to get it done. We're going to open it up. We're going to stat reveal our card. And fingers crossed, it can be someone good. All right, first squad we're submitting in the 86 rated squad. This is what we're putting in. We've got in from Orban. Highest rate being Donnarumma. And we've got Roger and Fabinho. Then an 86 and basically 85 and 84. So submit it. Let's get that first squad done. And then we'll get the 84 done. And then the SBC is completed. Actually, let's see if we get anything back from the 86 rated squad. You never know. Give me an icon right now. I actually thought I was... I got baited. It's a silver! They dumped me. I thought it was an icon for some reason. Shut up. Right, here we go. Final squad. Before we get into opening our first icon pack on the main account, we're going to send one on the RTG as well, definitely. So we've definitely got at least two icon packs here. But as you'll be able to see, we have completed the max 86 icon upgrade SPC. So let's advance on. We're going to get into the store. We'll actually open up the pack from the 84 uh, squad as well. And then we're going to start reveal our icon. Wish me luck. Hopefully we get something good. Hey, right, 84 uh, pack here. The 84 squad. Go on. Give me something sick. Uh, it's nothing. All right, onto the icon pack it is. All right, so we are going to start reveal this icon. We're going to open up the pack. We're going to look away, get an image in the way, reveal it from right to left. And let's see if we get someone good. All right, please, please. Hullet, Vieira, Rooney, just something like that. That'd be sick. We're about to reveal the first stat in a second. Okay, here we go. First stat is appearing right now, which is the physicals. The physicals are sitting at a whopping 82. 77 stamina, 85 strength, 80... Okay, not the worst physicals, to be fair, but I think that pretty much rules out Vieira and probably Hullet. And next up, defending, 86 defending. Okay, not bad defending, but it could be an absolutely terrible defender, so we'll find out in a sec. Okay, dribbling, 76. Not bad dribbling. This is probably going to be like a fullback or something. I'm not going to lie. I think this is going to be a fullback, isn't it? Oh, dear. Okay, passing, 87 passing. Oh, this is like a box-to-box -box kind of midfielder. This is going to be like Seydorf or something, maybe. All right, next up is 84 shooting. Who is this? This is a, like this is definitely a box-to-box -box midfielder. This is not bad. Okay, I thought it wasn't bad. Then the pace appeared. Then the pace appeared. Who is it? Oh, no. I thought it was going to be someone good, but then I saw 67 pace. What icon have we got? Ronald McDonald. Oh, it was looking so promising. It was looking so promising and Ronald McDonald appeared, man. I mean, he could have been a box-to-box -box midfielder if he didn't have a 65 acceleration. Can he go lengthy? That's the real question. If he can go lengthy, I'll still take it. All right, yeah. You never know. He might be all right. All right, shout out to my boy, Mr. Luke Pingu, the main man. The, the, the game show host everyone needs in FIFA. Go check him out right now because we're about to pack him. Rude Hullet. We've got the Dutch shirt on. I want to see a Dutch icon. I mean, we did get a Dutch one in the last one. In my one, in Komen. But that's not the right Dutch. But anyways, he didn't wear this shirt. I, he might have, actually. Icon. Obviously. France. Left back. Oh, that's not bad, actually. That is not bad. But he is good. No, that's solid. Because he can actually switch to CDM in game. As in, like, a default position. That isn't bad. And he's pretty much got Pingu's trim. Without, like, the mullet. If you just cut that part off pretty much the same trim actually but that's good let me just double check we're gonna see his card after but that's a dub all right let me just double check this alternate positions center back left wing back and cdm oh that's a massive dub he can play center back oh that's a really good pull oh he'd be solid as a center back i think oh wow okay so he can play center back and cdm oh that's a big dub yeah big dub that's what we like to see all right on to the next icon pack all right, Halix FN up next for the next icon pack. Petit is the one to beat. That is a massive dub. Um, let's see what he can get. Hopefully, I can get something sick of my RTG if we get along to that today. All right, obviously, icon. I, I don't know why I said that. Oh, Larson. What is his card? I don't know if he can go... If he can go lengthy in game, he might be all right. Uh, I don't know what how much he's worth, really. 86 pace, 86 shooting, 84 dribbling. It's not the worst card. What other positions can he play as well? Sorry, because I just want to check, but it's only sent it forward, sadly. I don't know what he's like. Three star, four star. It might just be a W. I think, oh, he's just over 100k. It might be usable. All right, here we go. Doyle, I believe, yeah. Doyle with the icon pack. Best one so far. 
Petit, definitely. That's I, I still, that's a really... I didn't know he could play centre-back. I knew the CDM part, which is a massive dub. But then he could play centre-back as well. Very good as well. All right, Nation. France! Right mid! Makalele! Not bad! Because you don't have to keep him right mid. He can play in CDM again. I don't know what his other positions are. I need to check them as well. But that's not bad. Definitely usable. Definitely usable. Because like I said, he can definitely start as a CDM. So let's skip. And let's check out his alternate positions as well. And fingers crossed there's some other good ones. Makalele, let's have a look. He can play CDM and centre mid and right wing. Yeah, that's a dub. Yeah, that's a dub. Um, I'd probably chuck a shadow on him though if you're going to play him CDM. Because he definitely needs to increase... His defending stats, at least on this card. But 86 pace, 80 passing, 82 dribbling, 80 physical, 64 shooting. It's not bad at all. For like a box-to-box -box centre mid, he'd be very good. And I think still, as a CDM, would be solid as well. All right, here we go. We've got Twitter underscores T7 Clow here. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right at all. I don't think he wants to open his Team of the Week pack. So we're going to go to the Icon pack. Base Icon 86 max overall number 4 or 5 of this. I think it's number 5. I want to say it's 5. I might be wrong. I'm pretty sure it is. Oh, uh, okay. I don't know what his base card is like. Hadji. 86 pace. 87 dribbling. 84. To be fair, his stats actually look all right, but I don't know what he's like in this game at all. And uh, Also, what are his other positions? I, um, that's the most intriguing part for me right now, is these alternate positions. Um, but the actual overall base, like, stats actually look pretty solid. Okay, sadly, he has no alternate positions, which is kind of annoying. But four-star, four-star with them stats... Not bad at all. He could be usable. I feel like he's definitely usable, at least at this stage of the game anyways. Right, also, the first Prime Gaming pack is out, so we're going to open up mine. Let's see what we get, and I think we might have one more icon pack to end the video. So this contains uh, two play people with minimum overall 81+, plus, and then Bappe, Lone, and obviously gold cards on the outside. So let's crack it open. Can we get anything good on the outside of the pack? It's at least the boards. Maybe a cheeky walker? No? Is it going to be in Diddy? I, I guess I'll take him for the fodder, at least. That's about it. Rest of the pack, we don't... Seem to have anything. Oh, I was about to say Mbappe then, but obviously not. It's a loan. Okay, so we got our two play picks out of four options. 81 plus. First one up. Anything decent? Oh, I literally own all of these. I don't know if Diaz is tradable. I don't think he is. So we'll just claim him anyways for fodder. All right, my second player pick now. Come on, give me a rule breaker, please. It's not great. It's, it's not great. Ah. I right, shout out to my boy Will, my very good friend. Base icon 86 max overall on his account. This is like number six or seven, I think, of this video. Dutch! CDM! Wait, what is Hullet? Is Hullet a centre? I think Hullet's a centre mid anyways, right? Rijkaard! He might be usable this year. I don't know if he's a lengthy... One of the lengthy people. What position? Centre back as well. Interesting. It's not the worst one. It's definitely not the worst one, in my opinion. Um, but... Ah! Oh! I thought we were about to get a hullet. I can't lie. All right, I believe I compact like out number eight or something like that. My boy, my very good friend again, Mr. Matt XD Hefty. Come on. Let's see if we can beat that Petit. The Petit is definitely the best one so far. Pingu got very lucky there. England, centre mid. You know what? This year, this year he could be usable. Genuinely, this year he could be usable. 75 pace, 86 shoot. I actually reckon as a centre midfielder, I don't know if he can go lengthy, as I keep saying, but if as a centre midfielder, he could definitely be used. And also, alternate positions, he can play cam as well, but I think he definitely could be usable this year. Hey, shout out to the man, Jake! We've got another icon pack! Come on! This could be like the final one, so can we end on a banger, please? It might be the last one for today's video. What do we see? Please. Dutch! No! Hullet's a centre mid. I, I figured out that Hullet's a centre mid! I thought it was going to be Hullet. Oh, that would have been sick. Because even if you don't play Hullet's base as a centre mid, you can play him at centre back as well, which is ridiculous. But like I said earlier, I think he actually could be usable. Like, I need to check if he's lengthy. Let me actually double check. Yes, he is. You can, any chemistry style keeps him lengthy bar artist. So he actually could be pretty solid in this game this year. There we go, then that wraps up today's video. If you guys did open up the icon or pack, make sure you guys let me know in the comments below who you managed to get. Was it a dub? Was it an L? What do you think of this new icon pack as well? Do you think it's good or do you think it's bad? Let me know in the comments below. But yeah, guys, anyways, thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe if you did enjoy the video. And I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye. <laughs>